YouTubers, welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Tonight we're going to take a look at yet another beer in Uniru's lineup. Going to take a look at Ephemer Cassis, or Blackcurrant, made with blackcurrant berries. Ephemer Blackcurrant is an exclusive fruity beer. Its powerful yet balanced blackcurrant aroma will provide you with an unforgettable sensory experience. Please don't miss out on this pleasure as it will only be ephemeral. Now, the name Ephemer comes from the uh, something to do with the fairies. Uh, I remember watching a little video they have on their website over the uh, Ephemer Palm or the apple flavor, which was a really good fruit beer. This time I get to take a look at the black currant flavor. Now, as Heist Almighty pointed out when he got this beer, like uh, what we did was um, the New Brunswick Liquor just recently brought in uh, six packs of, uh, of five different uh, Unibrew beers, including the Ephemer series, which are like two Ephemeres, Palm and Blackcurrant. And what we did is I bought the Palm, he bought the Cassis, and we split three for three. So when he noticed this, he noticed that it was um, Blackcurrant is a relative of the grape, but not quite. It's kind of more like a blackberry kind of flavor. Uh, I think it's a very very close relative of the blackberry, but it's more like blackberry or currenty or uh, even a little a little raspberryish. And um, one thing as a little personal note is that before I was really heavy into drinking beers as I was making my way in, I used to like adding blackcurrant flavor to uh, Guinness just to take off the, that big malt the edge. Yeah, 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 big deal. I was uh, maybe a bit of a pussy when I didn't need to be. Now I just chug again a straight. So, uh, and look, do 300 plus reviews on my beer channel, and you want to think that I don't like beer straight anymore? Straight, you know, I'm a pussy for liking Guinness with black currant in it. It's still tasty, and I hear Neely laughing over there. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Well, anyway, let's pop the top off of this one and see uh, if I like the cassis or the black currant version of Ephemer uh, any better. Let's pour this out here now. One thing I noticed is it's very much different in color than the uh, the, the palm was, the apple. It's got a pink head and a very pink body. You can tell there was definitely some fruit juice added to this one as well. It's got a little bit of like a yellowy white kind of appearance down at the bottom. And for the most part the head's white, but it's got a light pinkish hue and the body of the beer has got an almost orangey pink kind of hue as well slightly bordering on or any darker it'd be purple. Either way it looks like a really nice beer but I see the the heads dying off quite a bit faster than the uh, eh, still a little bit left. Yeah whatever I'll wait. That's probably the head honestly the head's probably dying off just as quick as the uh, the ephemera palm was. Anyway it's a very nice looking beer. Let's give it a sniff. Basically, the only thing that you get off of this one here is a nice light black currant smell. There's a subtle hint of like a banana. Maybe a nice look like, of almost a vanilla. Which is more I got off of the Ephemer Palm. But it's also a very, very, very light smelling beer. It looks really nice and smells nice too. But the main thing you're gonna get off of this is this um, this black currant, which kind of smells. It kind of smells almost like a blackberry, but maybe with a twinge more of like a, a raspberry. Hmm. It smells really good, whatever it is. Anyway, let's give it a taste. It's nice. Um, the moment it enters your mouth, you get this nice taste of like a sweet black currant, and then it fades away quite quickly to a very tannic kind of flavor, like the rind off the berry, which is kind of like a sour, um, almost salty, but not quite. It's very, very tangy sourness. 
which rests on a bed of a very fluffy, very um, effervescent, very poofy carbonated beer. And while it, it, it mixes well, it's not a biting amount of carbonation, but it's a plentiful type of carbonation. And throughout the roof of your mouth, and in the mid tongue, it stings of like a little bit of like this, a little bit of like a light sourness. If you've ever eaten like um, ripe berries or something off, like if you've ever like eaten like straight berries and you've had the skins and they have this little bit of like a citrus sour kind of taste, that's the tannic qualities. And those tannic qualities really come out in this beer. Um, another beer that this really reminds me of is one that I had last year from Garrison and that was their blackberry wheat. Now I noticed, noted in that review that last year's version of the blackberry wheat was a very a sweet blackberry version, whereas the last year's was very sour. Well, this one here is very much like the sour version of that, and that it's very, very, very tangy and very, very not very biting sour, but a very present amount of sourness, resting on a very a very very light beer base, a very light because basically Ephemer Cassis is a uh, a Belgian wit style with fruit added, and uh, it works quite well, but I'm not sure exactly how much I personally like this particular one. Anyway, I'm gonna sit down with this one for a bit, and I'll come back with some thoughts. Be right back. And I'm back with Ephemer Cassis from Unibrew. So, what did I think with this one? It's good. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually one that really fits my taste, for, for example. Um, it's got a very tannic sour flavor, uh, like being the, like the rinds and the skins off the berries, which is probably a very natural flavor when it comes to a blackberry flavor. But as for my personal preference, it's it's not quite as I prefer like the juice taste rather than just the uh, like the whole raw berry like with seeds and everything kind of ta flavor. Um, once you get past past that though, it's a very light beer, uh, very lightly carbonated, but the carbonation is plentiful and like fine extra fine bubbles, and it's kind of like like a nice coriander, like very faint coriander and a nice banana flavor in the very back too, but it's not a very sweet sweet beer. In fact, it's almost not sweet at all. But one thing it does is it does finish quite dry. But the main gist of it is that over the top, like the first thing you're going to notice is the tannic sourness. And then past that, it disappears so quickly there's almost no taste at all. And while it is a high quality, well put together beer, it's not my personal preference. And I would prefer getting the, uh, the ephemer palm or the apple flavor. Um, over this one. But that's not to say that Ephemer Cassis is a bad beer at all, because uh, some people out there who might appreciate the berry flavors more than me uh, would really, really adore this beer. Like, for example, um, Albino Rhino. If you ever see the Ephemer Cassis, give that thing a try, man. It's really, really good. Like, in, like If you like the Garrison's um, Blackberry Wheat that I sent you last year, you're really going to like this one. Because it's a very similar beer, except for I can tell this one's a lot higher quality, and I do enjoy it more. But for a personal level, I'd rather have the uh, Femer Palm better than that, more than that. So, even so, I'm still gonna give this one about a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, I do enjoy it. Neely loves it. She's drinking one right now over there, and um, it's it's a really decent, high quality beer. It's just perhaps not my kind of style. Anyway, thanks for watching Maxwell Star's Beer Review. I'll talk to you guys later, and thanks for watching. Cheers.